Hello, hello, and welcome. Again, let's talk about what's healthy. Now, I'm wearing white. No, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a pharmacist, but I am a healer. And healing is not just about healing with energy or interdimensionally, also receiving messages in an interdimensional way or help to heal us, but also what we're eating, what we're drinking, what is our lifestyle, okay? What are we doing, drinking, eating, thinking, feeling in every moment of our lives? Because that creates either good or not so good health. And physical, emotional, and mental health. So, this is a big subject. Uh, and I'm going to be talking probably many times yet but uh, because I already show you that I started to juice some stuff, uh, vegetables and fruit, and I have in the front of me, because this is my next grapefruit juice, that's going to be today. Here is a beautiful orange and celery that I always add to everything. Okay. So... Before I even start about this, um, I'm going to say a couple of things that are actually common sense, but common sense is not so common sometimes. So, uh, okay, first of all, some people say, oh, I, you know, I put so much carrots, so many carrots and so much garlic and onion and I'm cooking and I'm boiling and I'm frying. So, hey, I'm eating it. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, I became, I knew it's going to be at that moment and it happened uh, that I'm all for raw vegetables and fruit. That's why I have this juicer, that it took me a while, I actually was walking behind me, as I say, for a year and a half, and finally I did it. I got it, and I'm juicing every day something. Now, what am I juicing? Whatever my intuition tells me to do. So I have this absolute uh, belief system that my body... If crave something is a reason. If crave something healthy, it means it's a balance in me. It's just maybe something that is in need for, but something healthy. But if it's craving for alcohol, for cigarettes, for um, a medicine, or sweets, for example, that uh, is off kill, okay? If we have enough nutrition in us, we don't crave bad stuff. So that's that's the first important thing to remember. And if we don't want to destroy vitamins and minerals and fiber, whatever is in this good stuff, veggies and fruit, the best way to eat is, of course, in a raw way. Now, I don't even have to add that if this vegetable or fruit is from your own garden, <laughs> nothing beats that. And we know how in our stores, in our, in our market, we just love what is perfect, what is beautiful. So if I have an apple and it's not perfect, I don't want it. And we're choosing in our stores what we like but how many apples did you see with that little hole that's the healthy apple with that little worm okay so if I have a tree and I ate in Poland growing up uh, apples from the trees right and here is, oh, this one is with the hole and I see a worm. Uh, and, uh, oh, the other is not. But at least I know 
what apple I get from that tree. It's healthy because a worm will not live in um, a fruit full of chemicals. So if it was sprayed with the chemicals to be so perfect, oh, <laughs> it's not so healthy anymore. So that's one thing. The other thing, balance, balance is the key. So let's, let's don't overdo it because some people say, okay, now I'm gonna drink this for the whole month straight or even better this. And people who <laughs> drink so much orange juice, um, you should know is lots of calories in this thing. So ob ob obesity comes with it, okay, if you overdo it. If you have a high blood pressure, it's very good. If you have too high cholesterol, grapefruit is very good. But if you're taking any medication for a blood pressure, oh, first ask your doctor. So you see, not living an automatic, but knowing what you're doing, it's the best way to go, okay? Be always safe. Use your common sense. Listen to your intuition. So, um, not to overdo anything. But as I'm talking about grapefruit and orange, it's perfect. It's wonderful for restless leg syndrome. Something that people don't know what to do. They're using all kinds of stuff to uh, just, you know, this belief system and somebody said that and somebody read something else. Oh, grapefruit and oranges. Eating, drinking juice, it should help you a lot. Now we're going to be talking about many, many things, but since I mentioned already grapefruit and orange, grapefruit is wonderful for vitamin C, A, B, 6, magnesium and calcium. Lemons, anti-kidney stones, detoxifier, vitamin C, um, a refreshes bread, okay? Um, hydrates, wonderful for digestion system. If you don't have, it's like, what's with this vitamin C so much? Vitamin C, if you don't have enough and you cannot ever have too much because you're gonna let it go uh, when you pee, yeah, it's going to be just boom, gone from your system. So you never can overdo it. But scurvy, any problem with your gums, bleeding gums, loss of your teeth, moving teeth, anemia, bleeding, it's lack of vitamin C. So C is absolutely wonderful take it don't worry about it do not worry about anything now let's start with cucumbers because you know what cucumbers at least we don't have to worry about too many calories okay it's very very low and moisturizes and makes us more beautiful our skin um, is our hair our nails is a full of vitamin C, K, A, potassium and magnesium. It's absolutely wonderful. And so you know, the scientists are saying today that cucumber is not a veggie anymore. It's a fruit. Here you go. <laughs> carrots. I love carrots. I absolutely love carrots. And I made a full, like I have water right now here, 
full glass of carrot juice. I don't know. I'm craving it always. It's wonderful. It's very, very, very rich in vitamin A. So if you have a problem with vision, like you're saying, oh, I see worse and worse. A, you need a vitamin A, uh, antioxidants, also vitamin C, B1, B3, and B6. Okay. Biotin and vitamin K. Uh, Good for liver, good for your heart, cardiovascular system, and anti-cancers. So it's really wonderful. Kale. Kale is great, but you cannot overdo with kale because uh, you may start to have a problem with the stones. Okay, so just like with everything, take it easy, you know, little of this, little of that. Take a break, and again, so a really, really rich in vitamin K is good for dark circles under eyes, um, gives a lot more energy, so if you feel a little anemic or you kind of under weather, kale is great. Uh, um, also for digestion is great, and anti muscle cramps so if you ever had that i have from time to time and this is a nasty thing oh it's not pleasant kale may be the answer okay parsley parsley and dill i use in everything but i chop 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 and don't cook this just when it's already cooked soup or whatever dish i'm making or a sandwich I just, you know, and eat it. So it's raw, spread all over the place. Beautiful skin, also purifying blood, is very good for any type of eczema or um, He's healing our wounds, beautiful for the nails. So really it's um, even acne, heals acne, you know, a, a wonderful medicine for it in a natural way. So, you know, go for parsley. Now, apples, digestion. Eating one apple a day keeps the doctor away. Probably you know that saying. Antioxidant. Uh, beautiful when it comes to fiber. Anti-cancers. Anti-hypertension. Uh, diabetes. For diabetes is great. And heart disease. Any heart disease. Or cardiovascular, you know, system. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. That's why it's good sometimes to add some um, apples to make some apple juice. Then we have pomegranates. So this is um, extremely healthy, antioxidant, but also when we overdo being on the sun, it really makes us younger and reverse uh, the cells, okay? Whatever we damage from the sun, being on the sun. Beautiful for our skin, hair, and nails. Strawberries! I love strawberries. Uh, they are so healthy, but also so delicious. Very rich in vitamin C. Uh, they give our skin elasticity, beautiful hair and nails. Ginger root. Yeah, it's really good from time to time, just like garlic that I'm going to be talking next. Give some, not much, but still anti-inflammatory. Beautiful, okay? And keeps us healthy. Garlic. Again, anti-inflammatory. 
but in a raw way. So I add something to the juice that I'm making. Uh, lowers cholesterol, blood pressure, sugar in our blood, and uh, reduces metals in our body. Either this is mercury or lead or arsenic. Yes, it works really beautifully. Um, if you have a diarrhea, if you eat a little raw of garlic, it may uh, stop it, but may heal it. But if you want to stay healthy, garlic and ginger root is very good because it works on your immune system. And if anything goes wrong, boom, <laughs> helps us, okay? So now let's talk uh, about something else for a second. Um, I was thinking today, you know, we all need vitamin B12. And everything that I read so far for you was B1, B6, B3. Where is B12? So here it is. There is no B12 in vegetables and fruit. Zero. B12 comes from the animal's meat and products. So here is the problem for vegans, because if you are a vegetarian, it means that you don't eat animal's meat, but you still eat what vegans don't, products from animals. So eggs, milk, sour cream, cheese. You see what I'm saying? Which contains vitamin B12. But the biggest thing for a vitamin B12 is always meat, meat, and meat. And I'm, I'm looking for it, but I don't know if I'm going to find right now. Everything what is meat, beef is number one, of course, and pork, and trout, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't think I am uh, as a fish. So... If somebody doesn't eat stuff, vegans, now you gotta get vitamin B from somewhere. Why? Because if you don't, you may become anemic. You may, it doesn't have to, you will, you may. Deficiency of the uh, hemoglobin, and uh, this is because of the reduced red blood cells in our blood in our system causing weakness and breathlessness why because red red cells deliver oxygen to our body And, it's, and I hear the whole body. And this is absolutely important because if it is no uh, oxygen, how are we going to feel? We're going to have a problem with breathing. That's why it's this breathlessness. And... People who have these symptoms, they feel like a fish out of water, okay? Because the oxygen never got to our lungs. So gives the oxygen to the lungs and keep it healthy. Now, polycythemia is the opposite to anemia, which means too many red uh, blood cells. That is not healthy either. You see, again, it must be the balance. 
the balance. The white cells defend the body against infection and cancer cells. It's like, you know, don't let the invaders <laughs> to win or go any further. Wherever it's in balance, we're going to feel it. It's not good. So we need B12. And if you are a vegan, I really wonder, and please put in a comment, what are you, what are you doing to replenish it, to have enough of B12 vitamin? Are you taking supplement or maybe you have another idea? I'm wondering, okay? Because there's so many people right now and they feel a little dizzy and pale looking and uh, sometimes confused or losing balance. There is so many things that when we kind of anemic, because we're lacking those red blood cells, uh, it's not good. So I wonder what are you, what are you personally doing? In my case, I eat eggs and I drink milk and all that good stuff that comes from the products of animals. But who knows, maybe I'm going that way too. And I cannot count on fruit or that celery vegetables, cannot do it. So what else is out there? That's the question for someone who does know. And um, I'm leaving you uh, with, under this note, much love, much health, and much joy and happiness.